Yeah, yeah, it's definitely got to really prioritize your time because you, know, you, gotta, you gotta practice. Like, you gotta stay for exams like all night, all day, and get ready the next day. So, how much did do you think? How much did playing in a program that received uh, so much attention and, and did some traveling too? How much did that help prepare you for the college level? Um, I think it helped a lot. You know, I mean, when you're traveling like that, you know, you can you can have easy playing better competitions, not just like in state. You know, playing the same teams over and over again, you get to play and experience different things. What's been the most difficult or interesting, maybe part of the transition from high school to college for you? Uh, definitely conditioning and uh, getting used to the pace of the game. And and big man, I think Brian has pointed this out. Big man, you can't just sit in the lane and wait to block a shot. Yeah, yeah I mean, you like got to go out on the perimeter and and, and, and show and then. Right. So, so is it is it a different world for a big guy in college? Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, something different. Uh, it's, it's a lot to uh, defensive principles that you got to get used to. But I mean, it's been fun. So. Yeah. What um what do you what's been the best part so far? Uh, the best part, I mean, it's basically just learning, you know, getting better every day, and, you know, picking up wins, of course, you know, that's always a great thing. So. You have, you've probably had to learn some patience, too. I mean, let's face it, to go from, and I, I don't, I, when I say star, I'm, I'm going to include a lot of guys, not just you, a quote star in high school, to having to earn minutes. What's that like mentally? Um, I mean, it's just kind of patience. I mean, you know, I mean, you know, the people ahead of me, you know, they put their time. You know, I, mean, I just got to pick up the player. Appreciate it, man.